<laughs> Welcome to Shia Birth Fight Takeaways. Order number, please. I don't take orders, I give them. I oh, know. <coughs> I take the orders. Right, so long as we are straight. Yeah, straight. What can I do for you? Do you recognise this sauce? Uh, butterfly? Or maybe a ballerina? Butterfly? It's not a blimmin' raw shack test, you jackanape. I was talking about the sauce. Oh. <coughs> oh, in well, that case, truth is, it actually looked like a man sodomising a city bus. What can you tell me about the man who ordered this sauce? You for real? It's very important, and may I remind you that by failing to answer correctly, you may be charged with... Public defecation? Oh, all right, all right. Just don't tell my boss. There's no staff toilet on the premises. I was hoping it'd get lost in the smell of stewed beef. <coughs> oh, I thought that was the stewed beef. Technically, it was once. So, uh, can you confirm with absolute clarity that this sauce came from your restaurant? Confirmed? Well, actually, not absolute clarity. Where did you find it? In an abandoned building in the industrial estate, covering about 200 square feet of the interior. Oh, fiddlesticks. He must be back at it. Who is? A delivery driver for Beef On Demand. So what is your Beef On Demand driver back at, exactly? <coughs> Same old tricks, same old pranks, you know, the usual. Actually, I don't know. Enlighten me. Can't grass or he could get done for assault. You're about to get done with assault. Seems I've said too much already. Is this British beef I would be clogging my colon with? Do you want the official response? The truth would be a refreshing change. It's actually a South African zebu, but it was processed in Britain so it can be classed as British beef. What the chuff is a zebu? I'm not eating some poncho wearing moustache sporting sorry excuse for a cow. What have you got for someone with no cash or debit card? I've got a slightly snotty middle finger. I'll pass. No, really? Free of charge? <laughs> So, what's this beef on demand then? It's our new service. All you can eat beef delivered right to your door, any cut, any sauce, any time, anywhere. <coughs> Sweet Enola Gay, why did I not know about this? That might be the best business idea I've ever heard since those hard hats with beer cans attached. That's right, beef on demand. You order, we slaughter. Nice slogan. Only rhymes in Britain, though. <coughs> so, would beef on demand deliver to the industrial estate? Oh, sure. Is that where you found the stain? The industrial estate? Wait a minute. I never said anything about the industrial estate. It's you. You're the terrorist. What? <laughs> that always works on TV. Might I be able to speak to your delivery driver from Beef On Demand? I am not at liberty to divulge that information. Oh, look who got a law degree for their birthday. The security of our drivers is of the utmost importance to Shayla Buffet. Oh, really? But sending them out into Clapper's Reek with a truckload of meat with nothing to protect them from the horns of ravenous tramps that roam the streets is considered good company practice, is it? How do I get hold of this mobile meat machine? Simple. You sign up for the service. 
How much is the service? Our executive beef on demand package has a £500 a month sign up fee. You what? I could purchase the cow for that. You could, but you still wouldn't get the number of the driver. Come on, son, let's not make this any more painful than it needs to be. Cough up the number, no pun intended. Customers only. What if I was to leave a nice, crisp £5 note on your desk? Then I would take the note and put it in my pocket and tell you that the number is for customers only. Listen, unless you want me to rearrange your snot-encrusted features all over your face into an even more grotesque arrangement than God saw fit to give you, give me the delivery driver's number! No, Cashy, no, Numby. <laughs> now, are you going to order something or not? Never mind, not hungry. <laughs> hey, isn't there some show on now about conjoined octuplets? Really? Those shows are so gross. <laughs> what channel? Uh, it's called uh, Eight Heads One Arse or something. Keep flipping, you'll find it. Yo, Barry, here's a gallon for you. Knock yourself out. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a true saint. If only you knew. So, what'll it be in exchange, chum? The sticky labels or the wall planner? Hey, No, none of that. I want the shirt off your back, like you said. The shirt? All right. Well, I didn't think you'd... Ha, <laughs> uh... Oh, see, this is the lucky shirt my dead auntie brought me. No, it really tugs on me heartstrings, but a deal's a deal. Shirt, he's got you there, Barry. Well, you drive a hard bargain, friend. Uh, here you go. Hmm, huh. something doesn't quite feel right. Ah. A little neat, it'll do. He must have had a case of the sweats. Blech. Oh my holy hell, who comes up with this stuff? Stand back, big fella, you'll crease the shirt. Good boy, might be a biscuit in it. Boys, be simple. I'll strip to be sure. How about a Hail Mary to see some more? And they say church is boring. Hey, Jesus, I'm working me ones off here. You might stay awake, like. You're never out of luck with a snoofy in your pocket. Right then, what have they done to the confessional to rip the last foundations of decency out of this place? This some kind of peep show? Ah, oh, come on ladies, open up and give us a look-see. Sit down, my son. All right, Daddy-o, I'll play your little game. Noi, how long has it been since your last confession? Forty-one, no way. Forty-two, forty... Ah, what year is it again? I see. And what sins have you committed lately? Um, I'm a craven, alcoholic, womanising, chain-smoking, blaspheming, god-hating, nun-shagging sinner. And what do you think might be an appropriate penance for such an atrocity?
I think I should have to cross the Rubicon in me pants. That'd probably do the trick quite nicely. There now, are you unburdened? Go in peace, my child. Why don't you get comfortable and we'll have a wee chat, shall we? Yous have come to the right place, my child. Now, how long? Beat the confession out of a suspect just last night. I see. And what sins have you committed lately? I spent a riotous night of drunken rough play with a nightclub singer, two jockeys and a retired racehorse called Miss Frisky. And what do you think might be an appropriate penance for such an atrocity? Why don't you let me off with a warning? That'd probably do the trick quite nicely. There now, are you unburdened? Go in peace, my child. Why don't you get caught? <laughs> if that's a real pre- Yous have come to Noi. Nice one, chappy. Now, how about pulling me a pint of legless? I see. And what sense of I convinced my cousin Victor he was gay because he once read a poem. Then he became an air steward and died in a terrorist outrage. And what do you think might be an appropriate I'll become a friend of the Catholic Church on Facebook. That'd probably do the trick quite nicely. There now, are you unburdened? Go in peace, my child. Well, that was one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had in a strip club. What the hell? Where did that guy come from? I wish I could shake this dirty habit. <laughs> Hey, don't I know you? Course you do, mate. Yeah, you're shorty Polchester, centre left half back wing defence from Clappers United. Look, mate, lovely. You want a souvenir or something? No, that's all right. What nothing? How about my fag end when I'm done with it? Hand it down to your kids? No, thanks. I won't say no to an old one, though. Piss off, you bloody bin <clears throat> And he seems like such a nice fella on TV interviews. So, I saw you coming out of the confessional just there. Oh, really? Did you now, mate? Yeah, you came out right after me. Interesting, mate, because I didn't see you in there. In there, I mean. I didn't see you in the confessional either. Hmm, well, you must have seen me because I was definitely in there. You get me? Yeah, well, I too was in there. In there or in there? Is there a difference or is there a difference? Exactly, mate. Right on the bleeding what's it? <laughs> bleeding what's it, eh, mate? There have been times in here, I can tell you. Ah, you know what I'm talking about, eh? Not a flaming clue. I, you know any place I can get internet round here? Ooh, internet, mate? Yeah, mate, I know a place, you know it. I was asking you. Heard something about making connections around here, did you, mate? Yeah. Like there were some, uh, oh, let's call them, uh, transactions going down. Transactions? I don't know, but going down? I sure as snakes not do, mate. <laughs> Unless you don't, in which case neither do I, right? Oh, right. Bit dead inside, eh? I tell you, mate, when I feel a little dead inside, I go in there to wake up little shorty. <laughs> Lift me spirits, eh? Lift. <laughs> in here? Not in here, mate. In there. Ah, uh, of course. What are you doing out here? New law, mate. What is? 
Well, you can't smoke inside no more, mate. It's a gentleman's club in a converted Catholic church, and they're concerned about the smoking ban. Bloody fire alarms, mate, so bloody sensitive a flaming sunburn can set them off. Gotta smoke out here now. Tonight, smoking in the toilets last month, cleared the place out. Come back today, blimmin' paranoid bastards sealed off their toilets. That's a bit extreme. I know. Where am I supposed to piss? The confessional? <laughs> the confessional? Then you can apologise while you're in mid-flow, be like belching the words excuse me after dinner at Nan's. What you on about, mate? I don't even know. Shorty Polchester. I thought you'd done a Bosman off to Archester. Did, mate, but I'm back. Turns out Archester's full of woofters who frown on a competitive approach to training. What are you doing out front of this hole? Surely you earn enough money not to have to root around at the bottom of the gene pool with these pigs in knickers. I wish, mate. Lost all me dosh investing in some iPhone penalty shootout game. You still hold the record for the most penalties conceded in a single match? 37 penalties for Tottingham in 1984, mate. And it would have been more if they hadn't run out of centre-forwards. Soft kits. I know, mate. What's up with people who don't get the offside rule? I mean, come on. Yeah, too right, mate. I mean, you get it, right? Yeah, of course. But go on, explain it then. Uh. Yeah, thought so, you nit. You aren't married by any chance, are you? Why, you a press out, mate. Detective Inspector, actually. What, you? Thought you had to be smart and that? At least fit enough to shoulder roll out of an exploding car or something? That's TV bollocks, mate. Can't believe what you see on there. Why not? You believe the pelvic injury came from bloody spring friendlies? Well, between you and me, it did come from a particularly talented pair of friendlies. Eh, mate? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I've met your wife. She seems rather nice, if a bit dense. Ah, mate, she is nice. Really is. Looks nice. Taking me out to Chez Le Buffet tonight. But you know what I really like? Blimmin' naught is what I like, mate. <laughs> and, yeah, she's dense. Why our women don't like us ogling other birds is beyond me. Too bloody true, mate. I mean, it's not like we can stop ourselves. It's true. It's genetic. No point fighting it. I don't. But the missus? If she saw me down here, she'd have me threads out on our spacious front lawn quicker than you could say, that is one wonky figuardo. That is one wonky... Don't, mate. About that con... Yeah, mate? I think there's something going on in there. Do you, mate? Do you think there is, mate? Yeah, I'm sure of it. You think too much, mate. And you know what I do when I think too much? Blow a synapse? Nah, mate. I like to lie down until the thought goes away. You get me? <laughs> yeah, I could go for a good lie down right about now. Mate, you know it, mate. You spend much time in there? Mate, I go in there just about every time I have an impure thought. What about you? What about me? You ever have any, um, impure thoughts then, eh, mate? Does a constant recurring dream involving two tramps, a greyhound and a bath of marmite count as an impure thought? <laughs> you know it, mate. Whatever gets you going, eh? Yeah, mate. Had a rather odd chat with the priest. Did you know, mate? How long was the old chat then? Eh? How long? Exactly? Well, I'm not sure why you would be interested. Well, let me put it this way, which might shed some mutual light on things. Would you say it was about two, oh, I don't know, six minutes and eight seconds, eh? Nah, more like three minutes, ten, fifteen tops. Never mind, sorry to waste your time, mate. I tell you, mate, I'm off to have a little lie down myself, eh? Eh? <laughs> Absolutely. Be seeing you, mate. Be seeing you. Not if I see you first. <laughs>
mates. What the hell was that about? Hello, boys. You like the swing on me? We Take a wee seat. This seems like a nice, dark, quiet. No, hi. It's been six minutes, eight seconds since my last confession. How's it now? And you feel the need to be back here again so soon? I feel drawn here somehow. And arrested. I see. And what sins have you committed lately? I had an impure thought. Really, now? And do those impure thoughts plague your wee head day in and day out like a swarm of locusts? Yeah, naughty, filthy locusts. And arresting. And what do you think might be an appropriate penance for such an atrocity? I should just lie down until the thought goes away. Do you think that's a good idea? Laying down for a good wee ponderance, eh? I may even close my eyes and get lost in the moment. There now, are you? Oh, I was sure I had it that time. You didn't let me finish. <clears throat> there now, are you? Ready to turn those impure thoughts into impure actions? What in the unholy hell? That's right, you wee dirty bugger. Unholy hell indeed. Oh, God, what have I done? Not even God can help you now, you poor lost soul. Hold on tight, cause you're going down. <laughs> I've totally forgotten why I even came in here. Oh, that was it. I'm tracking a terrorist to his possible hideout from a remnant trace of his internet address. Whoa. Days like this, it's so easy to lose track. <laughs> 